Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nieuws and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect Microsoft Graph to NADN. It can be a little bit tricky, so let's dive in. Okay, the first step is to make an API key. Head over to Microsoft Azure platform. On the left side, click on the menu. Go over to Microsoft Enter ID. If you click on that, there will be appearing a new menu. Go over to App Registrations. And click on New Registration. Give it a name. For NADN YouTube. Choose for accounts in this organization directory only. Register. And now you are in the app you just made. Head over to API permissions. It already assigned one permission. If you uh, want to add another one, click on add a permission. Choose for example for Microsoft Graph. Delegated permissions. That means you has, have to be tied in to use this API. In the search bar you can search all different kinds of permissions. For example, of this video which used for a few users email address. Select it, add a permission. And now where we were earlier, you see now the permission you just gave. If you choose a permission where is admin consent necessary, click on grant admin consent. Then it will give two check marks and it will be fine. After this step, head over to Certificates and Secrets. Create new client secret. On the right side, you can give it a name and then YouTube. And the expiring rate is recommended, we leave it on default. On the bottom, on Add. And we just made an API secret key. Uh, it's only shown once, so it's important to save this one. After you set up the API permissions, head over to NADM. We are now in the workflow from a video earlier. The simple Outlook Inbox Manager. For the sake of this video, we're going to add a new node. The HTTP request. For the URL, we're going to fill in the URL from Microsoft Graph. Authentication will be generic credential type. And by generic auth type, we choose auth to API. As you can see, I already set up a Microsoft Azure API. For the sake of this video, we're going to create a new one. And now the first step is copy the URL. Head over back to Microsoft Azure. And go to authentication on the left side in the menu. Add redirect URI. On the left, choose web. and hit configure, head over back to NADN and we can fill in the rest. First off the authorization URL, it's also a standard for Microsoft and an access token URL, it's also a default one. Inside both URLs there is this number, this is your tenant ID. You can find your tenant ID in Microsoft Azure. If you head over to overview inside the app you find your application client ID and also your directory tenant ID, this number. Copy it and paste it inside. Next step is the client ID. The client ID you find also in Azure. Head back to Azure again and copy client ID. This is the ID from the app you just made. Next up is the client secret. This is the value from the API you made. Scope is the permissions you gave. And the rest we leave as default and connect to my account, choose your account and connection successfully. So piece of cake. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any trouble setting it up, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you. See you in the next one.